Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting challenge that many web developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how can we shrink children to fit a parent when we have a fixed size div with a variable number of child elements? This is a common issue, especially when the sizes of the children are unknown in advance. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. To shrink child elements to fit a fixed size parent div, we need to set specific CSS properties. Let's start by defining our parent container. Next, we want to ensure that all child elements do not exceed the dimensions of the parent. We can achieve this by using the max width and max height properties. Now, let's take a look at our HTML structure. We will add two images as child elements inside the parent div. However, using max width and max height alone may not contain all child elements if they overflow. To fix this, we can use the CSS property overflow on the parent. Finally, let's summarize our solution. By setting max width and max height on the children and overflow on the parent, we can ensure all child elements fit within the parent div. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To shrink children to fit their parent in CSS, you can use the display property with table values. This allows child elements to conform to the parent's dimensions. Additionally, setting the parent's position to relative and the children's position to absolute keeps them within the parent's borders. In the demo, both parents are identical except for their sizes. The first parent is 200 by 200 pixels, while the second is 100 by 100 pixels. The children adjust perfectly within their parents' borders, regardless of the parents' dimensions. The CSS code ensures that child elements maintain their aspect ratio and stay within the parent's borders. This is achieved by using max width and max height properties along with display table cell for children. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To shrink children to fit a parent in CSS, you can use the position property. Specifically, setting the child element to position absolute allows it to fit within the parent container. If you encounter any issues while implementing this, feel free to leave a comment. Happy coding. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To make children fit within a parent element, you can set the width of all child elements to 100%. This ensures they take up the full width of the parent.
And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.